Out beyond the sun's final pole, past where planets fade into memory, there is a region so quiet, so still, it almost feels like time stops. This is interstellar space, the great, black sea between the stars. Nothing human was ever expected to reach this place. But something did. A small spacecraft, launched in the 1970s, continues to travel, alone but determined. Its name is Voyager 1. Voyager 1 left Earth in 1977. It was sent out to study the outer planets, Jupiter and Saturn. But after its job was done, it didn't stop. It kept going. Engineers planned for a short mission, but what they built has lasted for nearly five decades. Even today, Voyager 1 is alive, floating over 14.8 billion miles away. That's so far that a message from Earth, traveling at the speed of light, takes over 22 hours to reach it. At that distance, the sun looks like a star, small, dim, and no longer powerful. It's hard to imagine how lonely Voyager is out there. It's far past Pluto. It's the most distant object humans have ever made, and it's still drifting outward, second by second. But even in that cold void, something amazing happened. Voyager detected a sound. A soft, slow, rising hum. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't noise from Earth. It was a signal from deep space, picked up by Voyager's plasma wave instrument. Now, sound in space is a tricky thing. There's no air out there, so normal sound waves don't travel. But space isn't empty. It's filled with plasma, charged particles from stars. These particles can vibrate and create waves. Voyager turned those plasma vibrations into audio. What it heard was a steady, high-pitched tone, haunting and beautiful. This is the first time we've ever heard interstellar space. Scientists were stunned. They had expected silence. Instead, they found a place that's alive with motion, even if it's invisible. According to Dr. Don Garnett, the lead researcher for the plasma wave team, this hum shows us the interstellar medium is not quiet, it's alive. What this means is that space is not a dead zone. It's not just emptiness. It has structure, pressure, and energy. These waves could be created by distant stars, supernovae, or something else entirely. Every whisper Voyager catches could be a clue to how the galaxy works. And Voyager is not alone out there. Voyager 2, its twin, was launched just weeks before. It also flew past the gas giants and is now beyond the heliosphere, the protective bubble that surrounds our solar system. Beyond this line, the sun has no influence. Space is colder, darker, and far more mysterious. Voyager 2 still sends back data. Its instruments, though old, are finding cosmic rays, magnetic waves, and plasma disturbances no one expected. The data doesn't always make sense. Some readings change without reason. Some energy bursts arrive out of nowhere. Scientists are puzzled. Could these signals be signs of something we've never discovered before? Some researchers suggest that Voyager might be traveling through uncharted regions of space, zones shaped by forces we don't yet understand. One theory is that Voyager is passing near rogue planets. These are planets without stars. They don't orbit suns. They float freely through space, like shadows. Because they don't reflect much light, they are hard to find. But they might be very common. Dr. David Bennett, an expert in planetary science, has estimated that there could be billions of rogue planets in our galaxy. Some might be the size of Jupiter, Others could be small and icy. Voyager's instruments have picked up small magnetic shifts, almost like faint footsteps in the dark. What if Voyager is detecting the presence of one of these lonely worlds? And what if those planets have moons? In our own solar system, moons like Europa and Enceladus are believed to have oceans beneath their icy crusts. These oceans could even support alien life. That's why Voyager's journey matters so much. It's not just about distance. 
It's about discovery. It's teaching us that deep space is not empty. It's active, strange, and possibly full of surprises. When Voyager crossed the heliosphere in 2012, most scientists thought the space beyond would be quiet. But it wasn't. That plasma hum proved that interstellar space has waves and energy. It behaves like an ocean. It's a moving, flowing, living medium. Even more fascinating, some scientists now believe that the plasma hum could hold messages. Not from Earth, but maybe from faraway civilizations. It's a bold idea, but not impossible. If other intelligent life forms are out there, they might use plasma waves as a way to send signals across the galaxy. Dr. Jill Tarter, a leader in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, has said that the universe might be teeming with life and that alien civilizations could be using forms of communication we haven't even imagined. It speaks not with words, but with presence. It says, we were here, we reached this far. Far beyond the sun's pole, past all planets and drifting into darkness, floats a small spacecraft called Voyager 1. It was launched in 1977 to study the outer planets, but now, almost 50 years later, it's still alive, still moving through interstellar space. Voyager 1 is now more than 14.8 billion miles away from Earth. A radio signal takes over 22 hours to reach it. Out there, the sun looks like a distant star, barely more than a speck of light. Voyager is the farthest human-made object in space, and it's still going. Even more incredible, Voyager 1 detected a hum, a soft, steady sound that came from deep space. This isn't sound in the normal sense, there's no air in space. But plasma, the charged particle soup filling space, can vibrate. When those plasma waves were converted to audio, they formed a strange, rising tone. Dr. Don Garnett, who led the plasma wave team, said, This hum shows us the interstellar medium is not quiet. It's alive, that simple, eerie tone proves interstellar space isn't empty, it's active and filled with motion. Voyager's twin, Voyager 2, is also out there, launched just weeks before. It's almost 20 billion kilometers from Earth, and it, too, detects cosmic rays, magnetic waves, and plasma ripples. Some of these signals make sense. Others don't. Some scientists believe Voyager may be passing through regions of space shaped by unknown forces, perhaps rogue planets, magnetic fields, or even new physics. Astronomer David Bennett estimates that there may be billions of rogue planets in our galaxy, floating without stars. Voyager has picked up magnetic shifts and strange plasma signals that might point to these hidden worlds. If such a planet has moons, like Jupiter's Europa, they might have underground oceans, and possibly life. When Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the sun's influence ends, scientists expected silence. But instead, they heard that hum. That told us that space beyond the sun is alive with energy. And here's something even more exciting. Some scientists, including Dr. Jill Tarter, believe intelligent civilizations might use plasma waves to communicate. The plasma hum could carry signals or patterns we don't yet understand. Voyager might not be built to decode alien messages, but it might be picking up strange pulses, repeating tones, or unusual rhythms, traces of something intelligent, or at least mysterious. The idea that the interstellar medium could be a cosmic communication web is no longer pure science fiction. Let's not forget that Voyager carries the golden record, a disc containing music, greetings, and sounds from Earth. It's a time capsule, floating endlessly, waiting for someone or something to find it. Now Voyager is entering a zone called the Local Interstellar Cloud. It's full of dust, plasma, and surprises. Voyager has detected pressure changes, magnetic turbulence, and even gaps in the cloud that scientists don't understand. Dr. Kip Thorne, a Nobel-winning physicist, once said, The fabric of space is not smooth, it's turbulent, it's dynamic. Voyager's journey seems to prove that. Some researchers think Voyager may be brushing against structures we can't see, 
may be shaped by magnetic fields, gravitational waves, or dark energy. In some spots, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 record different results, as if they're traveling through hidden zones, cosmic rooms that shift and move. And then there are the cosmic rays, high-energy particles hitting Voyager with power we can't fully explain. Some may come from exploding stars, others from unknown sources. These surprises are why Voyager still matters. Even as its power fades, Voyager is still working, still sending signals. Each one is a tiny message from the edge of everything, a reminder that space is not silent, not empty, not finished. Carl Sagan, who helped design the Golden Record, believed that even if Voyager is never found, it stands as proof that we tried. We launched this message into the cosmos, he said, because we cared, Voyager is now our ambassador, drifting silently, listening to the galaxy. It shows that we can explore beyond limits, beyond light, beyond fear. And as long as Voyager listens, we stay connected to the universe, to each other, and to the possibility that something or someone may be listening to. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.